Welcome to Quick and Easy Zoom Training for Students. I'm Nikki Ball from the Northern Beaches and Mossman College and in this short video I'm going to take you through how to join a Zoom meeting, how to work with Zoom controls, using the chat and switching between Zoom and other programs. When you enroll in online training you will receive an email from the college inviting you to a Zoom meeting. All you need to do to attend the training is click on that link. Before you do this, however, you're going to need to decide which device you want to attend the training with. We would recommend a laptop or computer as it has a bigger screen and may be easier to work with. But if you don't have a computer, you can use a mobile phone or a tablet. There's one other piece of equipment that you will need, and that is a microphone. Most of these devices will come with built-in mics these days, but if you don't have one, uh, you can always use some earphones with a built-in mic and you'll probably find the ones from your mobile phone will do the job very nicely. If you do decide to connect to Zoom using a mobile device, you will need to install the app first. It's called Zoom Cloud Meetings and it can be downloaded from the App Store or Google Play Store. Once you have downloaded the app, you will be able to click on the link and join the meeting. If you're going to join via your computer, it's even easier, and I'm going to show you how. So here is my email with the link. I'm going to come to the link and just click on it. What that will do is open up a browser and that will launch a screen asking you to download and run Zoom. You will only need to download it the first time and you can see it's actually downloaded here and to launch it, all I need to do is click on Zoom in the bottom left hand corner. Now this may take a couple of moments to install, so don't wait till your training's about to begin. Give yourself at least half an hour so you've got time and if you run into any problems, you can get some help. Once the program has installed, you'll be taken to the meeting. If the meeting hasn't started yet, you will see a screen saying, please wait for the trainer to start the meeting or please wait for the host to start the meeting. But this meeting has started, so I'm asked to type in my name and I'm then going to click join meeting. You will go to a waiting room where you'll wait for your host or your trainer to let you in. Now I've been allowed in, so I'm coming into the meeting and welcome to Zoom. When you start, you will need to specify that you want to join with computer audio. That means you're not actually dialing in. So I'm going to start by clicking join with computer audio. And now I can hear everyone. And all these little boxes show everybody else in the meeting. And at the bottom are all of your controls. Now to begin with, you will be muted. So you'll need to come to the microphone at the bottom left hand corner and click on it to unmute. If you have the option and you'd like to, you can also start your video. So I'm going to click start video. Hi everyone. You will notice in speaker view that whoever is speaking comes up in the large screen, but it can be difficult to see everyone. So you have the option, if you move your mouse over to the top, to go into gallery view, and this will show everyone in their own square. If you step away from your screen for a moment, it's a good idea to mute and turn off your video, and that way you'll be given some privacy while you're doing whatever it is you need to do. So while they've all slipped away, we'll have a look at some of the other controls available to us. If we come down in the window, you will see in the middle is the option to turn on chat. And when you turn it on, a panel opens up to the right. Now you can either send a chat to everybody in the group, or if you want to have a private word with somebody or get some help from your instructor, you can click the drop down and choose anybody else in the meeting to have a chat with. To turn chat off again, you just click on the chat box. Now, um, the, there's a good chance the instructor will want to share their screen with you uh, during the meeting. So I'm going to show you now what it looks like when the instructor shares their screen. You will see it goes into full screen view and what we're seeing now 
is the instructor's screen. On the right hand side, we still have our um, Zoom controls. We still see the Zoom um, participants. And then when the instructor has finished sharing their screen, we will go back to the normal Zoom window. Participants can also share their screen, which is really useful if you want to collaborate or if you need help. So to share your screen, we come down to the green share screen button and click on that. And it asks you which screen you want to share, which may be a little confusing, but really it's just your whole screen, which is the first option. So make sure you've got that first option selected and click share. And now everyone's seeing what's on my screen. So I'm just going to uh, show them my desktop. When I'm finished sharing my screen, I can just come to stop share. And again, we're back in the normal window. Now, last little thing I'd like to show you. If you have a really messy house or you just feel like having a bit of fun, you could choose a virtual background. So again, I'm going to come down to where my video camera is and click the up arrow. And I'm going to choose choose virtual background. Now, I don't have any loaded at the moment, but you can add them by downloading or grabbing your own pictures. So I'm going to click the plus and say add image. And then in my images, I've got a picture of the college here. So I'm just going to choose that and click open and download. Now, it's going to take a moment to download that picture and then I'll be able to set it as my background. Now, not all computers support this and it's better if you've got a fairly um, bland background behind you. But give it a go because you can see now I'm at the college and I'm wearing my slippers. So that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, but don't be afraid. Download Zoom. If you have a chance, uh, get onto Zoom with one of your friends. Or if you need help, uh, one of our instructors will be happy to help you with that. The last thing you'll need to know is how to leave the meeting. So bottom right hand corner, I've got a leave meeting button here. And this is me signing out.